But Tony Stewart's never won to 500. Mark's never won to 500. Of course, we know Trevor Bain, he could win his first 500 in his first 500 attempt. Stars up. Ready. Tony Stewart's won the pole for the Indy 500. He's won the IRL championship, twice the Sprint Cup championship. He's won everything at Daytona. And coming through the middle, Kurt Busch. Now down to the inside. Bobby Labonte in that 47 gave Trevor Bain a heck of a push. Now all they can do is try to hug the bottom of the racetrack and protect. I like what I'm, I tell you that 22 though is coming in a, with a head of steam. And Juan Pablo right on him. Looks like Tony and Mark might have a, I don't know if they got enough time to get back up there or not. I don't think they do. Dale Jr. checked and released at the infield care center. They'll face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead them to a white flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya, Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a setting duck right now. But We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside. Try to where did that 34 come from? Try to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my God! Spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya. And here they come through turn four. Gilliland, they, former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Bain is going to win the Daytona 500. Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, uh, what? That was awesome. That was awesome, Trevor. You are the man, buddy. You are the man. Everybody coming inside, congratulating you here. Oh, my God. Saw Leonard Wood down on pit road where he stood in 76 when Pearson won it. There's Leonard, who with Glenn and Delano, they're the Wood Brothers. Oh, my goodness. First win in 10 years for what is now a part-time team out of Stewart, Virginia, and Concord, North Carolina. The Wood Brothers return to victory lane at Daytona with 20-year-old Trevor Bain. That be a big problem. Pit road is closed, and here they come. Heading for the restart box. Begins there. Start 21, take off maybe a slight yeah, second before the 24. He's could gonna, I think he's gonna clear right. three wide. The restart under review. Oh, oh, look at this! 21. Look at this! Here goes three the six wide up the middle. The six. What a me? move, Trevor look at Bain! That. But it isn't over. No. And Blaney jumped the restart. That is NASCAR's ruling. And it's Trevor Bain with the lead over it's Chase Elliott. Wait, it's look at this, there. look at You're this, he's got him. Trevor Bain is leaning all over him. Well, I hate that for Ryan now, Blaney, but... 20, 20 laps whoa. are complete. Whoa, whoa. 20 okay. laps are complete. They're oh, going to wave the caution. I believe however, the six however, it will be decided. The finishing order is decided at the start finish line at the end of segment 20. Yeah, Let's I have a look. I, yeah. I, It was a great move by the 24 to stay in the left rear of that six car. I think the six got him. I think the six got him. What an amazing move off of turn two for Trevor Bain to go three wide up the middle. Look at that. I couldn't call it for that. 